sitting in my study. Today is a Saturday. It is, according to my diary, April 16th, 2016. I close the door so my wife won't think I'm nuts here talking to myself. She knows I talk to myself. So yeah, I'm sitting in my study and I'm reading tonight. It's going on at 8 o'clock. I'm reading a book I mentioned in my last video, I think. Jesus Have I Loved But Paul, A Narrative Approach to the Problem of Pauline Christianity by J.R. Daniel Kirk. So yeah, I have another book of his in my library. Uh, I have his book here by J.R. Daniel Kurt, Unlocking Romans, Resurrection, and the Justification of God. So yeah, I'm sitting here reading that. Today, uh, today I volunteered at the local library used bookstore and I brought home two books which I'll show maybe next week when I go to thrift stores I'll probably collect some books but what I read at the book nook today the book used bookstore as I was reading my commentary my new commentary on Romans by Richard Longnecker this is the new international Greek commentary on Romans. Romans is uh, is uh, when you read the New Testament well, you, when you read the Bible you come to the Gospels. You have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And when you cut, and then you have after John you have the Acts, what it's called the Acts of the Apostles or it's called the Acts of the Apostles, which is the history of the church after the death and resurrection, the exaltation of Jesus Christ. But then after Acts, the first, of course in the book of Acts, you have the story of the conversion of, of Paul, of Tarsus, who became the apostle. But then you come to Romans right after the book of Acts. And so, yeah. So, yeah, I was reading at the book nook the introduction to Romans. Introduction. Just, so, yeah, I was reading that. I have other commentaries in here in my study on Romans. Like, I have this one on Romans by uh, Charles H. Talbert. I have this one on Romans in my study and then I have I have uh, um, and then I have this massive commentary on Romans by Robert Jewlett. This one is 1,000 pages too. So then I have that one and then I have this one on Romans. This is uh, Romans interpreted by early Christian commentators edited by Robert Louis Wilkin. Wilkin is a he is a scholar in patristics and early church fathers. So this is on Romans and then I have some more so yeah, I have all these commentaries on Romans. I have more downstairs. I probably have at least 20 commentaries on Romans. Uh, because like I said, I love the Apostle Paul and I like studying the, the Bible and uh, I like learning about the Apostle Paul. As I mentioned, I have uh, like this book, The Apostle Paul, His Life and Theology by Eldu 
so now and I have like this book Paul the Apostle of God's Glory in Christ Appalling Theology and so I have all kinds of stuff from Paul Arizona postcard so yes yeah, so that's what I've been reading and uh, Yesterday, I think I read that new book I had on Paris Vagabond. I think I was reading that yesterday. Let me see. Yesterday I read... I think I read Paris Vagabond, that new book. Uh, yeah. Also, I read yesterday... The Apostle Paul and the Christian Life, edited by Scott McKnight and Joseph B. Mayella. So yeah, I got tons to read. I don't know what I'll find at the at the thrift stores next week, but I always find something. So that's what I read today, and can't go wrong reading on Pauline theology and. The Apostle Paul and Epistle to the Romans. You know, you read commentaries on the Epistle of Romans that causes you to slow down and to meditate and to ponder what you're reading. And so that's why I read commentaries. I mean, I've read them, you know, like I said, I studied Romans in Bible college. I studied Romans when I was in seminary. I preached through sections of Romans. I've read Romans commentaries for many years now I'm reading another one but you know the Word of God is inexhaustible uh, you can always learn new things and plus reading a commentary is a state of contemplation and meditation it's causing you to f slow down and to focus on the text instead of just speed reading that you, f you focus on something for a long period of time and uh, that's why I read commentaries so that's what I'm reading this this Saturday evening and I see you next time. Bye.